Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perubu Ministries, today welcomes you for our morning devotional program. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Greetings to you this morning in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The very purpose that God has redeemed each one of us, that one day we will dwell with Him. For our devotion this morning, let's read Psalm 15, verses 1 and 3. A question is asked in verse 1. Lord, who shall abide in the tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hill? The answer is in verse 3. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. Two great commandments that the Lord spoke about in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 22, verses 37 to 40 is, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang on the law and the prophets. Those who are fit to dwell with God should be careful to maintain a right relationship with God and with one another in the body of Christ. I cannot say I love God and hate my brother. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 20, If a man say I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. He that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he say he loves God whom he had not seen? So if I am to dwell with God, I need to maintain a right relationship with one another in the body of Christ. I should never be a gossiper. It's malicious talk about someone who is not present. God abhors gossiping. Gossip originates from the evil in our hearts. The Bible says in Luke's Gospel chapter 6 and verse 45, The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. But out of the overflow of his heart, his mouth speaks. Jesus tells us that our words reveal what's in our heart. Gossip comes from a heart full of evil. Insults come from a heart full of evil. Criticism comes from a heart full of evil. When we allow our sinful nature to control our hearts, evil fills our souls and evil spews out of our mouth. When we allow anger, hurt, bitterness and rage to live in our hearts, we ended in thoughts of hatred, retaliation and revenge. One way that we went out of anger is through bitterness and through gossip. We wound people behind their backs by speaking evil of them. We retaliate by shooting people in their backs with verbal bullets. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake had forgiven us. We need to be careful how we speak to one another in the body of Christ. We should never let bitterness get into our heart, but rather we need to ask God to fill our hearts with love. People with nothing to do often gossip about one another. Gossip is always trouble. Gossip obscures the truth. Gossip drives us away from God. It ruins reputation, destroys relationship. Gossip causes division among people. But this morning, we need to be careful with the words that we speak. The words that we speak should be of comfort and strength to one another. But many times, we fail to do this. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 3, The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of his life on fire. Gossip is a wild fire gone out of control. Instead of trying to put it out, a gossiper keeps pouring gas on the fire. Not only is gossip a wild fire, it's full of deadly poison. It will make you miserable and destroy relationships. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and verse 9, He who overcomes an offense promotes love. Whosoever repeats a matter separates close friends. Overlooking an offense is an act of love and friendship. It's a sign of Christian maturity. As God's people, the more and more we mature in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are able to overlook offenses of other people. It's not about me, it's all about others. When I care less about myself, I can love my fellow brother sister in the body of Christ. A gossiper betrays a confidence. When someone begins to gossip, just tell them plainly, I don't want to hear any gossip. Don't worry about offending them by telling them you don't want to hear the gossip. But we need to remember we are called to please God. If you can't say anything good, don't say anything bad. Never criticize anyone. Never speak evil of anyone. The Bible says speak evil of no man but follow peace with everyone. We need to pray the prayer 
in Psalm 141 verse 3, Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord, keep a watch over the door of my lips. If we can be careful of the words that we speak, we can be assured that we can be a people who will do every God for eternity. May God bless you. May God be with you. Amen.